there are a number of standard general ledger reports that come with Dynamics GP. One I use most often is the trial balance. Let's take a look at that. Let's go to the financial area page and then to trial balance. The one I select here is usually detailed. So let's take a look at that. Here I've got one option, but I can add as many options as I want to. Let's take a look at what the criteria are for this particular report. Here I can select a particular time period if I want to. I've got a number of different ranges that I can select just to get the information that I want. And again, I can save that as a named selection so that I can use that over and over again. So in this case, I'm just going to keep this selection. I also have a choice of destinations. I'm going to print this one to the screen. I can save it to the My Reports area on my home page so that I can run this over and over again. One thing that you want to be sure of is make sure that you include some of these accounts over here. So I've got different types of accounts and I want to make a selection here. If I don't make a selection, the report will be blank. And then I have some year selections as well, some reporting period selections. So I've already made these and I'm just going to run that report. So let's print that out. And this is a report here. It has a lot of detail. It's organized by account and then by date. I can also choose a subtotal this by month if I want to. You can see it has a lot of detail. I've got the original information from the subsidiary ledger. In this case I'm looking at vendor and customer payments that have been made. You can see that here. It's got a link back to that original journal entry. So this is a detailed report on the journal ledger that people use often. So it's relatively easy to do and like I said you can make up different reports and run those over and over again.